Okay, so in this video, we will give a very short but intuitive proof of the chain rule of differentiation. So if you recall, the chain rule asks for the derivative of the composition between two functions, in this case, f and g. So we ask, what is the derivative with respect to x of f of g of x? So again, we go back to the definition of the derivative, which is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of the ratio in the change in the function, so f of g of x, versus the change in x. And already we notice a bit of a problem, right? The change in f is not around x, but around g of x, a different point than x. So we don't quite have a derivative here. So what we do is we sneak in an appropriate change, which is a change around the point g of x. So we add a change in g of x over the exact same thing, a change in g of x. So whatever that change is in the function g at the point x, if we divide by the same thing, this is just 1. So we are not changing the expression, only what it looks like. And now all we have to do is swap the change in x with the change in the function g at the point x. And now if you notice, the corresponding changes are matching, right? On the numerator of the first fraction, we have a change in the function f around the point g of x divided by a change around the point g of x. So as delta x approaches 0, we have a change in the function f around the point g of x divided by the change in the same expression. So this will be approaching the slope of the function f around the point g of x. So this will be, of course, approaching the slope, the derivative of f at g of x. And the second fraction is now a change in the function g around x divided by a change in x. So as delta x approaches 0, this will give us the slope of the function g in the limit around the point x. So the conclusion is that the derivative of f of g of x with respect to x will be in the limit the derivative of f at g of x times the derivative of g at x. And this completes the proof of the chain rule.